Hi, this is Commander Scientist Dina, and I'm coming to you with a VBS science thing for today. So, I wanted to tell you about reuse. Reuse is when you take things you already have and you use them as they are, or you use them in a new way instead of going and buying something new. I thought I'd bring you a few examples. Some I can show you, some I'll just tell you. One is I was making masks, I had some extra fabric, so the small pieces of fabric Elise was able to make into different things for her dolls. We've also been using containers to store things, ones that we got jam, jelly, clean them out, use them to store slime, that sort of thing. I also have some clothes that I got at the thrift store and there was something going on. So see, I have this. We were able to sew it back up and it's as good as new. I also have another shirt that I got from the thrift store and I had to sew up this part and I can still use it just like any other shirt. I have some socks that I got at the thrift store and I wore them for a while and they had a hole in the toe so I was able to sew up the toe and keep using my sock. Another thing is when I was a kid I used to get clothes from my cousins, hand-me-down clothes and I have to tell you it was so much fun to get them and they were so soft and comfortable. That's another thing you can reuse but maybe there's things that you have that you don't need anymore. Maybe you got a box of granola bars and you're tired of that granola bar. Well, you could put some in a little free library for somebody else to eat. Or let's say you had a game and it was missing a piece. Maybe it's a scorecard, maybe it's some money. Well, why not create your own? Make that game good as new or even better. Or maybe you have toys you're not playing with anymore and you could give them to somebody else and they'd enjoy them and maybe they'll trade with you. Those are all ways that you can reuse things. I wanna show you how making things, new things, can affect the environment. So I'm gonna show you an experiment. I got this experiment from Kitchen Science Lab for Kids. What I did was I boiled up some head of red cabbage to make this pH indicator. So I'm gonna put some of it in here and then I'm gonna put some of it in here. A few things. So this here is tap water. I'm gonna add a little bit of tap water to it. Tap water has a neutral pH, so it doesn't really change the color. But this is carbonated water so that it'll look like adding carbon to the environment. There you go. You can see how just a little bit of carbon added can change the pH of water so it's changing the 